In those days, Mary arose and quickly went into the hill country to a city of Judah and entered into the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. Mary remained with her about three months, then returned to her own house. Mary, help of Christians, takes us by the hand and leads us safely to the goal of our life. Bring ourselves, our life, the people closest to us, our children, the sick, to the foot of the altar. We, being the church and mystical body of Christ, even for the weaker brothers who do not believe and do not love. Don Bosco entrusts his boys and the first Salesians to Mary, educating them in the practice of a sincere and concrete charity. On January the 26th, 1854, the first day of the Triduum in preparation for the Feast of St. Francis de Sales, Don Bosco calls Michele Rua and two students, including Giovanni Cagliero, to his room. The young Michael remembers that meeting thus. With the help of the Lord and St. Francis of Sales, we were asked to do a test involving the practical exercise of charity towards our neighbor, to then proceed to a promise and to make it a vow to the Lord. From that evening onwards, the name of Salesians was put to those who offered themselves and this exercise. The opportunity to give practical proof of charity presents itself the following summer when cholera erupts in Turin. On July the 21st, 1854, a placard of the mayor posted on the corners of the streets of Turin announces the hygiene rules to be observed in homes, workshops and shops. Special hospitals called Lazzaretti are built to isolate the sick. The inhabitants of Valdocco learn that the municipality would be setting up an immense warehouse in Borgo Dora for this purpose. Don Bosco does not limit himself to defending his work against a dangerous scourge. The town hall is looking for volunteer nurses. Who wants to go to assist the afflicted in the hospital and private homes, he asks his boys one day. About 40 of the older ones respond to the invitation. We haven't got the complete list, but we know that among them there is certainly the 17-year-old Rua, the 16-year-old Cagliero, and the 14-year-old Anfossi. The young Michele Rua is one of the first to present himself, and he commits himself body and soul. Don Bosco gives practical instructions to his young nurses. Thus began a completely new experience for the cleric Michele Rua. La Monia, a newspaper of the time, would dedicate to the young people of the oratory a passage from the Chronicle of Charity of the Clergy in times of cholera. Animated by the spirit of their more than superior father Don Bosco, they courageously approach the cholera victims, inspiring courage and trust, not only with words, but with deeds, taking them by the hand, soothing them, without showing the minimum horror and fear. On the contrary, when they enter the house of a cholera victim, they immediately turn to the frightened people, comforting them to withdraw if they are afraid, while they fulfill all that is needed. With the disappearance of the disease, his experience did not terminate as Don Bosco formed a separate section for about 20 orphans and towards them, Michele Rua had full scope to exercise his active charity. Finally, on December the 8th, the entire oratory sang a Te Deum of thanks because the contagion had not caused any victims at home. It was a great day. In Rome, Pope Pius IX defined the Immaculate Conception of the Mother of God as dogmatic truth. To her, Don Bosco had entrusted himself and all his boys. Let us live some corporal and spiritual works of mercy. Atto di affidamento. 
O Maria Auxiliatrice. O oh Mary, help of Christians, as our father Don Bosco did with the boys of the Valdocco Oratory, on the occasion of cholera, we too, in a world affected by the coronavirus epidemic, want, as a Silesian family, to express our filial entrustment to your motherly heart. Comfort the sick and their families. Support doctors and healthcare professionals. Help all members of society and governments. Welcome everyone who has died from this epidemic. Above all, in each of us, we knew in our communities and families faith in your Son, Jesus, dead and risen. Making Don Bosco's words our own, we say to you, O Mary, powerful Virgin, you great and illustrious Presidium of the Church, you wonderful help of Christians, you terrible as an army deployed in battle, you who alone have destroyed every heresy in the world, you, in anxiety, struggles and hardship, defend us from the enemy and at the hour of our death receive our souls into heaven. Amen. <laughs>